Ross Developers and welcome to the Ross Questions and Answers video series. If you want to learn anything about Ross, this is your channel. Ross Navigation, Ross with Drones, Ross for Autonomous Cars, everything Ross is here. Learn Ross step by step and push your Ross learning in just 10 minutes of video. I am Alberto and today we are going to be checking a question I've, I found in the uh, Ross Questions and Answers forum, which is this one. It says custom message fails to build, no such file or directory. So we are going to be checking this question by this user and we are going to try to answer it uh, and build an example. But before anything else, remember to visit our Robot Ignite Academy, our online academy where you will find practical online ROS courses using simulated robots. No installation required. You will find a link to the academy on the video description. And now, yes, let's start with the video itself. So let me close here the academy and the YouTube channel. I'm going to open, as always, RDS, ROS DS. So, yeah, basically, the question of the user says, I followed the custom message documentation to the letter and searched, searched all the related questions on here. And unfortunately, I am still stuck. Could you please have a look? Uh, I am getting the scenario in Ubuntu 14 and 16, running with Kinetic, and all my all my packages that have custom messages fail to build. Cat can make exit with exits with error. The custom message definition are part of the package and are not from another package. The error reason is the same for all the packages with custom messages. And the error basically it's this one: fatal error, no such file or directory, which is it is a very common error in in compilation of packages. So yeah, you, you can see it here in the picture as well. No such file or directory as well here. And then he shows here his package organization with a message folder, SRC, CMake leads and package XML. His, his message, his custom message, the contents of the package XML and the contents of the CMake lists file. So yeah, let's try to reproduce uh, an example like this one. So let me create here a new project. I'm going to call it custom message, for instance. So let's create this. And let's open our project and wait a few seconds until everything loads. Okay. Then let's open a shell and an ID. Excellent. So yeah, let's create a package here. Let me call it Gatkin Read Package. Oh no, my custom custom message. And let's I let's add Rospy and Rospy as dependencies, for instance. So yeah, here we have now our package, and let's create a message first of all. So new folder, message, and I'm going to call it custom message dot message. Great. So let's copy let's paste here the contents of this message. There we are. And yeah, let's as well create here a source a CPP file, for instance, a publisher example, it could be example.cpp there we are and let me paste here a very simple publisher example okay there we are so as you can see this is a very simple uh, cpp ros publisher example where we are importing here our custom message from the custom message package which is this one i'm importing the custom message and then I, I create a note, I create a publisher here, which uses my custom message and which will publish into the topic, my topic. I define a rate and then I create a loop where I am basically, I am basically publishing my message into the topic. So basically this is just to create an example. So basically, this is just to create an example where we are uh, going to use the message we are creating in this package. Yes. So yeah, let's save this and then let's uh, do the modifications. 
on the package XML file and the CMYK lists. So yeah, let's see. Here in the package XML, we will need to add as a build dependency the message generation, and as a run dependency, we are going to add the message runtime. There we are. So let's save the package XML, and finally, let's modify the CMYK lists file. We are going to add here as well the message generation and as well the standard messages package because we are using messages which are from the standard messages packages like the int and the float. Then, yeah, let's add here our message file. We are going to comment all these and add here our, our file which is named custom message. There we are. The let's and comment as well this generate messages section. Basically, as you can see, what I'm doing here is to... I'm adding standard messages and message generation here to the find package. I'm uncommenting and adding my message file. Then I'm also uncommenting this section here, the generate messages. And finally, the Gatkin package as well, which is down here. Here we have it. So we're going to comment the Gatkin depends and add here a message runtime dependency. Great, and now let's let's add our node. So basically it's this. Let me copy this section here. And I'm going to paste it here. Okay, so here I'm going to generate the executable. In my case, this is the, the file. It's pub example cpp and the node let me call it pub example for instance pub example and the same here pub example so here basically i'm generating the executable for the cpp file for this cpp file and yeah that's it i have everything ready so now let's try to compile this and see what happens let me remove the build and the level folders. So let's compile this and let's see what we get. Okay, there it is going. Let's see, okay, excellent. So as you can see, I'm getting the same error that the user is uh, having. This no such file or directory compilation terminated. Yeah, so fatal error, uh, my custom message, no such file or directory. Yeah, so if you remember, this is exactly the same error that the user was having, this fatal error, no such file or directory. Compilation terminated. Excellent, so we have been able to force the same error that the user was having. So now, how do we solve this? Okay, it's very, very simple. Basically, you need to add here another line, which is this one. It's an add dependencies of my executable, of my CPP executable to custom message, generate messages, CPP. So this line basically what we'll do is to make sure that when we compile, when we try to generate our, our pub example uh, executable, we have our message header files ready. Yes? So before so the problem basically is that here it is trying to generate the executable, it is trying to build the executable for the CPP file before the message headers, our message headers are generated. And then he obviously, when he tries to here, when it's when he tries to import uh, this header, it's not finding it. Yes? So this is why we are getting this fatal error. So basically what this line does, this line here, these are dependencies, is to make sure that when we are trying to generate our executable, all our message uh, headers are generated so that we don't have any error like this one. 
Yeah. So yeah, let's save this. Let's remove our files and let's try to compile again. And now everything should compile correctly. So let's see. There it is. And yeah, as you can see, it is building the executable and everything is compiled correctly. So uh, as you can see, this is a very, very, very common error, this one. This fatal error, no such file or directory. It's an error I've, I have seen a lot, even for packages uh, that are there in, in, in repositories, in, in GitHub or wherever you download them and when you compile them, you find this error. And the luckily they have a very easy solution which is this one it's to add this line into the semi lists txt file with the add dependencies the name of the executable you are trying to give, and then these uh, generate messages cpp yes so well yeah that's all for the video i hope you have liked it liked it and if so please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel and press the bell for a new video every day. And either you like the video or not, please share your thoughts and questions in the comment area. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.